Hey guys, I want to give you some tips and tricks about using bases for your sculptures. Start off with the easiest one that you may have already. You can use an old book. Uh, this is Monster Base Clay, so it's going to stick to it pretty well. Pretty easy to use. These here are round wooden MDF boards that you can get from Bunnings, which is here in Australia, or probably Home Depot in the USA, uh, or like Laos. That would be in the craft section, and about four, four or five dollars for that. It's a good one, you can use it as a base for some of the sculptures. I'll show you now. Here's one of those bases used. Same thing, used as the base of a sculpture. Just put the monster clay on it and it will stick. Really, really hard. Now this is an even easier base. You can use some chipboard or any kind of board that you can cut some triangles out of, screw it in, and then you can throw your sculpture on the front. It will look a little bit like that sitting on there. That's generally going to be used for something like water-based clay. It's just easier to work with. You are going to be probably working with half the head, so you've got to work with that. This is a Lazy Susan from Ikea without the base. It's got a spinning base taken out and a bit of foam on there. That's just to help it slide around. And some plumbing parts. You can probably get that. Same place. Bunnings or Home Depot. Screw it in. And then pipe comes up. Get some newspaper or paper towels, wrap it up, and then you can start putting your sculpture on top. Last but not least, this is a way of holding up an armature in front of you, so maybe a standing figurine. You could have a bit of metal in there, holding it up, have some legs coming down, and work from it there. That's generally going to be a little bit easier if you're using an oil-based clay, but you can use a water-based clay. Oil-based clay would be monster clay, and a water-based clay would just be pottery clay. So that's a couple different ways of making bases for sculptures. You can use, I would recommend starting off with something like that if you're really, really starting off because once you start getting into figurines like that, it takes a lot of work and it can get very fiddly. Uh, this is another good one if you're working, watching TV, watching Netflix or any movie, you can kind of sit there and you can kind of sculpt away with some oil-based clay on something like that. Same as that, the book, you can use a book. These here are going to get a little bit more tedious to make. Um, the plumbing parts aren't too hard to get, but it's about holding the sculpture up is the hardest part. And you don't want to get frustrated when you're first working out with sculptures, so try and get something like that, and then work your way up into these. Hope that helps. Got any questions? Let me know.